Uh, hello, student. Today I'm going to give you an introduction of the Vekta data mining tools. The Vekta, first of all, the topic that we are going to cover in this uh, lecture are uh, what is the introduction to Vekta, data set used in Vekta, and the explorer that are used in Vekta, like pre processing, data classification, clustering use of association rule, attribute selection, data visualization, and visualization. So what is VECA? VECA is Vikaito Environment for Knowledge Analysis. It's a data mining machine learning tool developed by the Department of Computer Science, University Waikato, New Zealand. VECA is a collection of machine learning algorithm for data mining tasks. VECA is open source software issued under the GNU or uh, general uh, GNU general public license. So it was developed by the Waikato Environment for Knowledge Analysis says, at the University of Waikato, New Zealand. And it's a collection of the machine learning algorithms. You can, you can download uh, VECA uh, free of cost from the website uh, the Waikato University site that's www.csvaikato.ac.nz and uh, sup it supports the various platforms like Windows, Mac, Mac operating system and Linux. The uh, VECA manuals can be downloaded from the following uh, link the transact.dl sourceforge.net source hub. Uh, and in it, the uh, VECA manual is in detail in, given in details. The VECA manual, I am here is the link for the VECA manual 3.6.0 PDF. The main features of VECA is are like that 49 data processing tools, 76 classification regression algorithms, 8 clustering algorithms, and 3 algorithms for finding the association rule, 15 attributes and subset evaluator plus 10 searching algorithm for feature selections. The main GUI, the graphical user interface. Uh, in it, there are three interfaces, the explorer that's used for exploratory data analysis, the experimental for the experimental environment and knowledge flow, the new process model inspired interface and the simple CI command prompt. Either of these can be used depending upon the environment. When we for the experiment, but we use experimental. For data analysis, we use explorer. And to test that new process data model, uh, we the we check the knowledge flow and the command prompt. We can throw command prompt using simple CLI. The given uh, is the symbol of the the first thing that you will get after installing the Vecca on your system. Here we can see that the application are ex the all the interface are at the first page explorer experimental knowledge flow and CLI. So we can use this is the first page that you will get introduced to after installing the Python. These are the main GUIs through which you will perform your data analysis and the data set. Each entry in a data set is an instance of the Java, Java class. So, so uh, it's uh, each instance consists of a number of attributes and attributes types are here nominal, numeric, string, date and relational. And uh, so uh, each instance in data of data set is a Java class and uh, the data set that and each data set consists instance consists of number of attributes and these attributes are nominal uh, nominal like number and for a name like red blue green and numeric number one two three four and the string it is enclosed in the double quotes and date and relation the normally uh, in a file that are VECA wants its input to be stored in the ARFF formats. A data set has to start with a declaration of its name uh, at relation name. So here relation is name is the started with the attribute A. Uh, the at attribute in underscore name specification. If an attribute is nominal, a specification consists of list of the possible attribute value in curly brackets. For example, attribute nominal attributes and 
since they were, after defining attribute, we are we are mentioning that this is an attribute and it's of nominal type attribute. And in bracket, we shall uh, the, define the values of name of the attributes: the first value, second value, and third value. If an attribute is numeric, the specification is replaced by the keyword numeric. Uh, for example, attribute instead of nominal here we have written numeric data and after that numeric. After the attribute declaration, the actual data is introduced by a tag at data. So data set with at relation name and like this. So we have defined start written the data set with all these starts with the at, at symbol and uh, after that relation name and uh, after that uh, in the, the we define the attribute and data uh, let's take a look of the actual arf file here first we define that the relation is weather relation the, the attributes in in this relations are outlook temperature humidity windy and play and outlook is the numeric type of data so its values are sunny overcast and rainy and temperature is a numeric we have defined it as a numeric humidity is also numeric and windy is the and the windy is the uh, having just two value true and false similarly play has just two value numeric values yes and no and after that the data uh, before initializing the data uh, we declare it with the at data symbol so sunny we have all, we are defining all the five attributes and these are the data item that will be stored to so sunny 85 temperature humidity 85 uh, not windy and tennis has not been played this is the same question that you have learned in your classes and uh, here there are 16, 14 entries and these 14 entries are just their values are inserted one after the another and it will automatically understand that what actually these values are because we have uh, at the very start defined that this is related to the weather relation with five attributes and each one corresponds to the one of these attributes after de uh, de declaring or inputting data into AR and saving this ARWF files, then we go through the different explorer that are in the vector. The first one, the explorer. Explorer has the five tabs in it that pre-process, classify, cluster, associate, select attribute, and visualize. So, uh, pre-processes choose the modify the data being acted on. In pre-process, we actually uh, check out that they. Uh, there should not be any null value or noise or anything like that that we have uh, read in during the classes from data cleaning is necessary step before starting our processing. So these all things comes under the pre-process step and it, it automatically does all this over the given table. Uh, classify. The train that and test learning scheme that classify or perform a regression. Uh, it's a class to file different data on some certain rules and some learning scheme on basis of some learning schemes and the cluster it learns a cluster for the data and it we can def, uh, perform various kind of clustering technique directly on the data using the already stored clustering algorithms in the vector association associate learn association rule for the data select attribute select the most relevant attribute in the data visualize view an interactive 2d plot of the data so so it can classify it can cluster perform cluster and it can pre-process data in it can associate some values select most prominent attribute and we can also visualize these on 2d plots uh, the among these that we have talked about the pre-processing the data data can be imported from a file in various format ARWF format csv format c4.5 format and binary format 
all these forms are acceptable. Uh, if I, a file is stored in some in, in any other format, then it will not process that. So data can also be read from the URL or from a SQL database. It's, uh, it is not necessary we must, uh, that we have to fill one by data one by one by uh, ourselves, but instead we can collect uh, can use some data already stored in some remote site through the URL or SQL data stored in the system through SQL using JDBC. Uh, Pre-processing tools in Weka are called the filters. Weka contains filter for discretization, normalization, resampling, attribute selection, transforming and combining attributes. Weka only deal with the flat files. So the flat files uh, as we have defined earlier, here we are talking about the heart disease simplified relation, which is which have six attributes, and uh, age is numerics, sex is female, male new, and is a nominal, chest pain type is also nominal, cholesterol is numeric, exercise in, in induced agina is numeral, and uh, class present and is numeral value. So after that, the all things are all values should be defined there should be no null value and all the five uh, all the six attributes should be properly mentioned while filling up the data so it's need a flat file format so here we can see that the attribute age is numeric and sex is the nominal attribute in the pre-process tab when we as i have told you that we can all open and uh, we can open data on the our files or through some url or through the uh, database so these are the options through which we can load and after that we shall choose the filter what we what kind of filtering that we perform like i told show you discretization normalization resampling attribute selection transforming and combining attributes over it and in the analysis after an analysis the we are select analysis the these two tables which shows the overall summarized um, analyzed analysis in tabular format in these two tables and the bottom uh, right bottom we show the graphical representation of these attributes for opening a file we shall we should need to click on this page and after that, we shall get already stored. There are some data that are already stored in data. So we shall select one of among that the uh, sepalant, uh, which is having the five attributes relation. We have selected a relation iris, which is having the five attributes. And uh, we are, uh, we are, we can see that the graph visual representation of this at relation in the diagram and this the stats that what is the maximum minimum mean and standard deviation automatically for the above data I, relation iris here the class uh, the fifth attribute class for if we select one particular attribute then we can get uh, that particular class analysis that iris uh, in the class there are three distinct nominal values iris uh, setosa versicolor and virginica so their count is 50 50 so in graph we can see that there are three equal bars of equal length 50 and we can visualize particular one at, uh, we can visualize the particular uh, one visualize all of these like uh, suppose we want to see all the attributes at the same time, the five attributes here are sepal length, sepal uh, width, and petal length, and petal width in class. So here in this diagram, we can see that all the attributes are represented in the same diagram, and they are analyzed and colored in different colors. So we can easily analyze directly with the help of Weka. So in the pre-process, uh, Pre-process. Uh, when we select the third attributes, 
then it performed the that analyze that particular attribute that it has 43 distinct value and uh, it's a numeric type of data and 10 unique values so it has analyzed all these and we can choose any of the operation key processing operation over it suppose uh, the filter that we want to apply over it here we are choosing that the filter uh, different filter that we can apply we are applying the filter on the attributes so and attributes there are various kinds of the filter that we can apply like discretize normalize and uh, normalize and anything first order and like this and by applying selecting particular we can apply it over them suppose we have chosen discretized uh, the for, uh, from first to last 10 to then we can get the result like this so an equal uh, use equal frequency and the bins are of size 10 and use equal frequency then okay after putting that we can see that the it has been divided into the equal size bin and apply, apply that the all of them has been divided into size of uh, equal size bins and their count is marked here and this particular attribute has been partitioned and an equal size bin and has been discretized so in this way we can apply the various kind of various kind of preprocessing technique explorer technique to classify and in next lecture we shall discuss the explorers for, uh, the next portion of this thank you